Hey, carnivore friends, how are you today? For me, it's day 240 of my carnivore journey. And um, yeah, today it's uh, a big day for me because um, I don't know where to start. Okay, so since I've been doing carnivore, I have still been obsessed with being able to eat dessert. Uh, this stems from my uh, having uh, an eating disorder since I was 15 years old. Um, basically, where I came down to is that I grew up in a vegetarian household. And what I learned from Dr. Elizabeth Bright is that when you are uh, deficient in, it, when you don't eat meat, at some point your body starts to lack energy because you don't have the right proteins or fat which really should come from animals so usually what uh, kids do when they don't have enough meat uh, in the household they start to focus on sugar uh, because sometimes it's really easy for young children to uh, eat sugar because it's basically available everywhere um, and so that's really what I did I started to sneak in candy Whenever I had money, I would buy candy and I would eat it because I wasn't allowed to eat sugar or like a lot of sweets in the house. We did have like cookies, but my mom hid it from us because we were always searching for it. We were really um, deprived of the right sort of energy, so that's where I turned to. So this is how I developed an eating disorder because... I started secretly munching on a lot of foods and after dinner we also had uh, like a, a, a dessert like a, you know yogurt with some sugar or you know like a, like special special yogurts uh, which had sugar in them and that was the highlight of the meal for me um, okay so yeah uh, so that's how I, well now I, I, I figured out where my eating disorder came from. It's more, uh, it's easier for me to uh, heal it as well. And um, so I have been um, doing that since around the age of 12, 13, but at some point, like eating the sugar, at some point I really started to gain weight because it got a little bit out of control because I was so lacking in energy that I really started to munch, munch, munch on sugar. Uh, secretly, I had a lock on my door and um, I combined it with reading because I re we had TV, but we didn't have any cable or series or Netflix at the time and no internet when I was uh, around 13 or 14. So I uh, turned to books and um, so I read a lot, um, but I could really lose myself in the book and then I would eat, eat, eat. And then when I was finished reading, I would be so nauseated that uh, once I even actually threw up by myself, but I was always, um, at some point I discovered the, the purging and that helped, but it was really unhealthy for me. And I did lose a lot of weight um, in a short amount of time when I discovered that around 15 and I got so many compliments and everybody was cheering me on and I got a lot more attention from boys and uh, yeah, life was supposed to be good, but I had no idea how to um, lose weight in a healthy way or maintain it because I was still really uh, um, obsessed with carbs and sugar so the sad part about it is that I actually went living on my cell on my own by myself at 17 and the whole reason was I mean nobody in my family knows this but the whole point of that was that I could do my thing and not have anybody listen or intervene because you know purging really <laughs> can't really do that quiet can you so um yeah so that's basically how my life started at 18 I, I quit school because i really didn't know how to 
have a disciplined life and, and then I started working. So that's basically been my my journey and at around 20, 21, I was actually uh, able to push myself to go back to school because I've been working so much in the restaurant business. I was always really tired and I, I was always like the smart kid in school so I was I knew I had a lot of potential so I actually went to do and I went, got my teacher's degree from 21 to uh, like uh, 26 and then I went to university in Amsterdam and I uh, got another master's degree so I kind of uh, started late but I, and I finished late and um, yeah but I still always uh, was struggling with uh, either like at some point I stopped the purging but I still had the challenging with uh, with binging binge eating and um, I guess uh, I had my phases where I was vegetarian and looking back obviously I can't really remember when because I was off and on but I know I had a lot of skin problems I was always bloated I was always like very very anxious and unhappy and um, yeah that was actually always kind of the case up to the point where I got started carnivore so yeah um, so anyway um, for me it, it really explains my obsessiveness even during carnivore with uh, having desserts and having something to comfort me and um, I've been doing this almost eight months and I have discovered this pattern that even when I have completely gone off sugar and I don't have any withdrawal symptoms or I'm really like my body has also healed from it I don't know I, whenever I do cheat I really don't as, enjoy it as much it doesn't give me the satisfaction that it used to and it really frustrates me because this used to be my go-to this used to be the one thing that would give me comfort and give me like I don't know my whole reason to live <laughs> my uh, you know where uh, it gave me so much uh, pleasure just thinking about it anticipation and now uh, like so last weekend I have my last cheat because I decided enough is enough I can never uh, get past it if I don't just uh, mentally uh, stop nourishing myself with carbs and so I had been the last three months or so I've been like in a weight stall because I've been measuring myself like for uh, every four weeks and it's been basically the same and that's because I have been every night after dinner I've been eating uh, yogurt with a little bit of stevia so like uh, the high fat yogurt we call it Greek yogurt and um, I can't stop I can't seem to stop so I decided today I'm gonna push myself I'm gonna do a 30-day challenge and I don't know if I'm gonna make it but I'm at least gonna share and um, yeah so I put it in my agenda and it's the 30 day one today's Monday and um, yeah, so, so far I've eaten four soft boiled eggs with butter, oops, <laughs> excuse me, and, um, and some salt. And um, I threw out all my milk because I've been drinking like two latte macchiato cappuccinos. I've been eating brie, which is like the full fat cheese. And I have been eating like uh, a lot of the sausages with also had like wheat in them and um, so and the yogurts so for me the dairy really gives me like this comfort and but the downside is, is I miss my energy uh, it's still a lot lot better than on a sad diet but it's still I, I really do notice and you know the the point is that if you can't live without it that's a sign like if you can't do one day without it for me that's a big sign because I'm I'm such an I'm not a moderate I'm like an extremist when it comes to food 
Um, and so I really have to learn also to disconnect, like, um, yeah, be aware of what I'm eating more. Um, so that's going to be a challenge, but uh, I don't know. I still like to lose weight. I, I really do. Um, I talked to my friend today about it. He's the only one, like, carnivore-ish uh, person that knows about my diet and tries to do it himself. And he's been so, so much better. It's just, uh, I'm so proud of him. It's just, uh, wow. He's just a lot less insecure and, like, a lot less paranoid and a lot less emotional and a lot less, like... I don't know, a lot more himself and zen. It's just, it's really, really nice to see that in a good dear friend. But he said, oh man, you, you look really good and you don't need to lose any more weight. And I'm like, yeah, but I, I can't, I can't see it. It's, I'm still stuck in that mental state of, uh, uh, I don't know wanting to binge and thinking I'm not there yet and not good enough and actually I do think I could still lose a little bit more weight and I'm just afraid to that it's going to creep back up right so uh, I don't know so I'm just going to try it I bought steak and that's it it's going to be a simple life just some eggs during the day eggs during the day and some steak at night, and then just wait it out. I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna meditate. Uh, I'm just gonna drink some some hot tea, and um, uh, grab my guitar, play a song, uh, maybe read something, and just be aware of the emotions and the feeling I'm feelings I'm having and it's okay and um, yeah I really think I can do this so yeah okay so wish me luck